Now find uh, each of these values. The first one is uh, f of 0. That is uh, when x equal to 0, we have to determine the corresponding function values. So here x equal to 0, that is basically the y-axis. Uh, when x equal to 0, the function is 1 because this line intersects the y-axis at 1. So we see that uh, f of 0 equals 1. Now let's do the second one. Here we are given that uh, f of x equal to 0 and we have to determine the corresponding x. That is, uh, we have to determine the x-intercept of this uh, graph of the function because uh, this is the line f of x and it becomes 0 when x equal to 3. So f of x equal to 0 means x equals 3. And now let's uh, do this uh, next one. That is f inverse of uh, 0 equals, uh, uh, we have to determine this. Uh, this is basically asking the question when y equals uh, 0, what is x? So let's uh, determine this. Using this uh, graph of the function f of x, uh, y becomes 0 when uh, x equal to uh, 3. So therefore, we see that uh, the answer to this question, that is f inverse of 0 equals 3. Let's do the last one. Uh, here we have to determine uh, x when f inverse of x equals uh, 0. So this is basically asking the question, uh, when x equal to 0, what is y? So let's uh, find this. Uh, when x equal to 0, which basically represents the y-axis, uh, the y value or the f of x is uh, 1. So therefore, we see that uh, this is x equal to 1. That is uh, f inverse of x equal to 0, uh, which means uh, only f inverse of uh, 1 equals uh, 0. So here the answer to this question is uh, x equals 1.